Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Sunday. It is September the 1st, 2019. Going to look at the featured 11th race in the spa, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And remember to go check out my long shot preview for Sunday, and also join me tomorrow for some Labor Day action from Saratoga, closing day uh, at Saratoga, and, uh, and uh, at a bunch of other tracks in uh, the country tomorrow also. But um, it's, it's kind of sad that we're nearing the end for Saratoga. But uh, just uh, think about it. Next week, we have some great racing at Belmont, which for years, the last 10 or 15 years or so, uh, opening weekend at Belmont for the fall was usually a very subpar week. But this year, with those grade one races, or, you know, those million-dollar races, it's going to be a good uh, weekend of racing. Um, and I do like the later post time there. But we'll, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, it's Joe me on Friday for my Belmont opening day preview also. While we're here, let me plug. But uh, let's get to the 11th race from Saratoga, which is kind of the road to the uh, the uh, Kentucky Oaks, I guess, road to the Bruce Cup Juvenile Phillies, road to the Frazette. The 11th race, it is the Spinaway Stakes. It's going. It's a great one event going for a purse of $350,000 race for two old Phillies. We have a field of seven horses going to the main track at the distance of ground of 1,400 meters, or the distance of ground of seven furlongs on the main track, 1,400 meters, seven furlongs here. My top selection, we're going to go to the number three horse, the three horse who is perfect alibi, alibi. excuse me, I'm going to go 3-5-2-7 in the Super Facta, 3-5-2-7 Super, if you're going to play the multi-race here, I think you go three ways, I think... I think you go three, five, two. It wouldn't surprise me if any of those three win. But as a top selection, we'll take the three horse, per, uh, the, the three horse perfect alibi. This two-year-old filly by uh, Scott Mesa, Mark Cassie trains. I read a tease Junior gets the mount. who's having a terrific season uh, up here at the spa. The horse is most recent out. It came the fourth of August at Saratoga. Six and a half furlongs in the grade two and Anirondack, and the horse won by half a length that day. He sat back early, a little bit wide, that th but that didn't really matter because this horse had a great turn of foot and just went away with him. A very good victory for this horse. Before that, the horse ran the sixth of June at Belmont, five and a half furlongs in the Astoria, and the horse finished second by three quarters length and was closing up well at the end. He was a little bit wide, which, uh, you, you know, in the, in the five and a half furlong races for two year olds at uh, Belmont, if you're drawn a little wide, you're, you're going to be basically wide throughout the turn and uh, he was wide throughout the turn, but this horse had a great turn of foot there, and I, I thought she ran a terrific race uh, to place there. And then before that, she ran the 16th of May at Churchill, five rows, main special weight, 81,000, and the horse won by nine and a half that day, sat back early, got the lead, and then just could have won around another five times and still took off clear. It was an all-around great effort. The workout patterns have been great. Most recently, a four row workout, 483, the 12th best workout, 57, and then a few weeks ago, five rows in the mud, but... Herod main track, five frogs and 102 and two fifths of second, second best workout three. Um, I, I like this horse a lot, seven to two, I'll take her. Like I said, I also think the five horse figure of speech could run a big race. Her, she's only started once, but that uh, main victory at Saratoga was quite impressive at earning herself a 70 buyer. She's another horse, she's training well. I think she'd get a piece of it. And I think the Belmont horse, the two horse Franks Rochek, a Rockette, um, can't speak today, pardon. Uh, but Frank's Roquette, the two horse, she's coming out of us. Two very good races, one at Churchill, one at Saratoga. And, uh, you know, she, she's another horse. If, if she didn't break badly the last uh, start, she probably would have, uh, and had a horrible trip, she probably would have won easily. Uh, but Perfect Alibi got to this one. But uh, she's another horse. I will use her here. But I think she might be getting bent into the ground, uh, and does she it deserves to be bent into the ground? I'm not sure, because uh, everybody's going to see that last race where she had a horrible trip, but, but she can win, but uh, 8 to 5, you know, it's not the best price in the world, but um, I, I'm more confident in the three-horse perfect gobble by here, I tell you the truth, but to recap my selection for the 11th from Saratoga, to raid one spin away, let's take the three-horse perfect alibi as a top selection, I'll go 3-5-2-7 in the super facto, we'll go 3-5-2 in the multi-race wager. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.